Senior Leadership and Management Masterclasses. I've had clients of mine do, do their SWOT on a fairly frequent basis, whether it's uh, once every two quarters or, or once a year, it's still frequent, it's still consistent, but they don't set the, the context. So it's not just a case of let's just look at all of our strengths and look at all of our weaknesses. You do the SWOT in the context only of the specific project that you're working on. You can see how people could just misunderstand mm. that. Let's just do a SWOT analysis. What are the opportunities? What are the threats right now? And when you do that, it, the, the, the conversation lacks the R word that we talked about yesterday. Relevancy. Relevancy. It needs to be relevant. Our exercises that we do on the training course need to be relevant. Our conversations need to be relevant. They need to be contextualized. You need to put the conversations into the right box. When you're considering a SWOT, which part of the SWOT is an internal analysis and which part of the SWOT is an external analysis? Well, strength and weaknesses are internal. Mm -hmm. Opportunity yeah. threats, are external. threats are external normally, and opportunities are internal. No, opportunities oh. are external. Oh. Oh. Opportunity, wow. Mm. Yes. But traditionally, it's back to being debatable again, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah totally. Still internal. Typically, you're looking at that, okay? This is internal, external. But are there opportunities? Internally. Internally. Yeah. Being yeah. Such yeah. as? Promotion of somebody. Exactly. <coughs> yeah. um, what else? Well, practices that are not shared. Y yes. Okay. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Shared, shared knowledge. Okay. Are there threats internally? Yeah, mm -hmm. Such Ooh. as? Cost of resource. Bad practice. Costs. Yeah. Bad. yeah. Mm -hmm. What else? Moving people from one area to another. Yeah. Isn't it weakening other areas? What about conflict? Oh yeah. Ch change could be perceived as being a threat, couldn't it? Yeah. Are this oh, this thing this really changed the dynamic. Are there strengths externally? Yes. Such as. You have supply chain. <coughs> external supply chain. Mhm. Mm you could work with someone else that brings in strength. Mhm. Mm Think about the concept that we talked about yesterday: decentralising. Mm -hmm. Are those, if you decentralise, where, where are the strengths? Outside your company. Yeah. They're an external, yeah. Exactly. <coughs> I've, had, I've had arguments before with, with other trainers. Uh, this is why I don't do social media anymore. Uh, where, <laughs> oh, don't be so stupid. No, strengths and weaknesses always always internal. They are both internal and external. Yeah, okay, weakness, weaknesses external. Can there be weaknesses external? Yeah, if you've got a, a bad courier service that you're employing, it's going to be... Now we're thinking, now we're thinking. Yes. Roll now. Enroll on this masterclass now to influence your output, growth, change and culture. Enroll now at nicholashill.com or call 0345 678